Well, good morning, friends. Senior Church Warden Larry here. Checking in on a Wednesday morning. We're in South Georgia. It's hot and humid. I've already mowed the front yard today. And man, <clears throat> thank goodness I still had a lot of shade because it was pretty brutal. Um, this morning I'm smoking in my Mark Twain Cobb, Missouri Meerschaum. And I'm smoking a... Um, bulk blend that I bought from Cup of Joe's called Count Pulaski. And um, it's not bad, but there's a story to it. And that's what I was going to uh, going to tell. So Count Pulaski, Casimir Pulaski, was a Polish gentleman, and he served in the Revolutionary War and um, was enough of a hero that I think there are seven cities or counties, or there are cities and counties in seven states that are named after him. I think I read that. But um, he served at... Um, Charleston and in Savannah, and so Savannah's where this story begins. Now, my son and his wife <clears throat> went to Savannah a few weeks ago, and my son visited ye old um, tobacco shop <clears throat> in Savannah. And their, um, their house blends included one called Count Pulaski, and according to them, it's their number one seller. So my son bought some for himself, and he brought some back for me. Now, if you look at it on their webpage, <clears throat> it says it's um, Toasted Black Cavendish, Virginia's... Um, Well, I have it written down here. Burley. Burley Toasted Black Cavendish, Virginia's. And it says, um, combine the zest of toasted Cavendish and a touch of Burley and Golden Virginia in the even burning qualities of a mild Maryland. No bite, cool smoke, and mild as a mother's love. Well, my son really likes it, and I like it too. It's a good blend. Um, it's kind of his favorite right now. So I Googled Count Pulaski, and lo and behold, Sutliff has a bulk blend called Count Pulaski. So I ordered a couple ounces of that from Cup of Joe's because I wanted to compare them and see kind of the similarities and differences. So with um, Sutliff's Count Pulaski is listed as an English on here, although it does have flavoring. It is um, well, it is three um, burly contents uh, shag Burley Plug and Burley Cube. It has Carolina Flake, Virginia, and Latakia. So it doesn't have the Cavendish, <clears throat> but it has Latakia. So that's an interesting change. As far as flavorings, it's listed as having rum and anise flavorings. So there's definitely a sweetness to this. I don't know that it's as sweet as the black, um, the toasted black Cavendish that's in the other, but um, it's a sweet, it's a fairly sweet smoke, very smooth smoke. Um, I, I kind of like it, I really do. I'm glad I bought a couple ounces of it because I'll, I'll smoke it. I don't know if I'll order it again, but hey, it's bulk and um, so it's fairly well priced and it's available. So. Anyway, I'm, I'm pleased with it. But I wanted to compare it to the uh, Yield Tobacco Shop in Savannah 
and their version of Count Pulaski, just to um, talk about the differences. Now, <clears throat> the other thing is um, kind of an update on what's going on here. The dogs, they're good. Dogs are doing fine. Um, my ex-wife, their um, her rehab is about to end, and so they're looking for a permanent placement um, it, in the same facility here, but it would be more of a nursing home setting um, and, unless things change with her ability to use her hands. Um, she continues to be very weak, but um, they're doing the Medicaid application and uh, trying to get her approved to be moved um, to a different um to a different room once one's available. In the meantime, she can stay in the room she's in if the if it looks like the um, application is going to be approved. So keep keep praying for us. Uh, my son is dealing with a lot of it. He and I went down yesterday and with his wife and visited with my ex-wife and kind of filled out the application together and got the information we needed to get together for that. But um, certainly need to get get that application processed as quickly as possible so we know what her status is. But the dogs are doing good. They're, uh, they're good boys. The, uh, the one with the nasal tumor uh, cleaned up his face a little bit. He was, his eyes were getting kinda, they were running and getting a little gunky, so I cleaned him up and he, he felt much better after that and he's, He's uh, still struggling a little bit with the breathing. Still sounds like he's snoring at times, but otherwise he runs out in the backyard and barks at the neighbor's dogs and he seems to be doing well. But um, we're just trying to love, mom, love on him as best we can. And when it's his time to cross the rainbow, rain, rainbow bridge, we'll be there with him. Um, not much else going on. Um, kind of uh, not as busy this week as last week was. I enjoyed Pipe Week. I enjoyed the um, Flat Cap and Lady Fires hosting the Pipe Awards, and that was a lot of fun. But um, hey, we got through Pipe Week, and now what's next, right? We shall see. In the meantime, hope you have a great week and uh, glorious piping, everybody. <laughs>